Let's discuss the final. Uh, Jeff, I thought it was a bore of a first half. I thought after Zarda scored that first goal, everything started to open up, and you saw the Revs after they tied it up. Watch out. They had a few chances. Bunbury hitting the crossbar to possibly pull out the upset. How did you uh, see the game unfolding in your eyes? Yeah, pretty much the same. There were so many sloppy passes there in the first half. You know, just a lot of, you know, unfortunate errors, to, to kind of use the tennis term there. You know, and I mean, these are not difficult passes either. I mean, balls just going straight out of bounds. Uh, you know, the, the link-up play between the likes of Donovan and Keane that, that we've come so, to, to expect uh, over the course of the season wasn't really there. Um, you know, it, it certainly got a little bit better in the second half. Um, you know, New England, I, I felt, you know, not until the very end did they really find a way to kind of get some touches in the attacking third. I mean, Lee Wynn, I thought, was bottled up effectively for most of the day. Uh, you know, Jermaine Jones, I, I thought, was, was fantastic. Um, you know, he had to drop a little deeper, I think, to, to get the ball and, and try to kickstart things for the Revs. But, um, you know, I think in the end, L.A. just had, you know, that mentioned more quality. Uh, and you saw it with Robbie Keane. I mean, granted, he, he missed a great chance earlier. Uh, you know, when he was put in alone on, on Shuttleworth, you know, who came up with a big save. But, you know, once he got that, uh, that similar chance in, in extra time, you know, he, he, he didn't make a mistake. You know, he slotted it home and... And I think that was a difference. I mean, you know, in terms of Landon Donovan, again, not a great game. Uh, certainly wasn't the, the perfect ending, uh, you know, for him. But, you know, the the big goal was achieved, and that was going out with a championship. So, uh, you know, certainly it was a a nice capstone for, for his career. And, uh, you know, certainly uh, he's, he's entertained us for so long. And uh, it was... It was Certainly, for him, a, a great end to a fantastic career. I couldn't agree more, Jeff. Let's uh, focus a little bit more on the Revs. We know that the Galaxy will go down in history as a dynasty in MLS. On and off the pitch, they have been a success story. But let's give some credit here to the Revs. I saw Jermaine Jones right in front of my eyes become the next star in MLS and really take control of that team as a leader. He was a force out there. At one point during the game, he got really upset at Teal Bunbury in telling him uh, to push ahead uh, when they were both clogged up together so close. And to me, I think this is going to be a key player in MLS in 2015. Absolutely. I mean, and certainly, you know, he'll benefit from, uh, first of all, getting a little bit of a rest. Although he had, he had, a, he had a nice break after the World Cup. But, um, you know, he'll get a full preseason with, with his team and, and, you know, be able to, to settle in even better. Um, you know, but I, I, you know, I thought he was fantastic on the day. And, uh, you know, I think he's really going to be kind of that, that, that huge midfield cog that, uh, you know, I think earlier in the season they were missing a little bit. So, uh you know, he was fantastic. I mean, overall, New England, I thought, showed tremendous heart. I mean, this was a little bit different than uh, some of their uh, previous MLS Cup disappointments. You know, in a lot of those games, they they went ahead. You know, I'm thinking specifically of the two games against Houston in, in uh, 06 and 07. You know, and they weren't able to, to make those leagues stand up. You know, this time they were the ones who came from behind. And, and like you said, with that Bunbury shot, or whether it was a cross or a shot, I'm not sure, but with that Bunbury chance, let's say, he, he came within inches of, uh, you know, really – you know, completing an incredible comeback, but uh, you know, it just it just wasn't enough. And you know, Chris Tierney, I mean, he he does great in to get the goal, but you know, he was a little bit the goat as well. And just in terms of you know, he was the guy that kept Keen on side on that on that on that second LA goal. So you know, a tough day overall for them. But you know, I, I still see them as a team that, that's making good progress and and continuing to to build their team. Uh, you know, I think they could use some some shoring up in, in defense a little bit. But, uh, but overall, I think they've got a really bright future and I think will certainly be a, a force next year in the Eastern Conference, especially with Houston joining the West. Yeah, I think, I think Jay Heaps did a masterful job and now he had to make big decisions with his management team right after that game, who to protect and who not to protect. Jeff, I got to tell you, I was shocked, absolutely shocked they didn't protect Patrick Mullins, when he came in in that game against L.A. in that final, he changed things around right away, setting up the first goal and possibly almost setting up that second for the winner. And to me, him being left unprotected is really mind-boggling. Well, I mean, these are always you know, very, very tough. Oh, we just lost. Are you there still, Jeff? Uh, your phone is cutting out a bit. Can you hear me now? Yeah, we got you again. Okay. Okay. Good. Um, yeah. I mean, these are these are always 
you know, difficult decisions. I mean, it, it's in many ways, it's a, it's kind of a game of chicken. You know, you're you're kind of you're, you're trying to, you're almost daring. You know, uh, you know the, the expansion teams not to take, uh, you know, the players that you put out there because you know they're they're usually flawed in one way or another. Either they're they're injured or they're they're, they're older veteran players or, or they're on a big salary. So, you know, I think in New England's case, you know, it was just. Uh, you know, it was, it was definitely kind of a tough situation. I mean, you look at the guys that they protected, you know, Alston, Bunbury, and Davies. And, I mean, I could go on down the list. You know, maybe a guy like Daigo Kobayashi is a guy that, uh, you know, maybe maybe you think you know, twice about protecting. But, um, you know, overall, uh, it, it's, it's going to be a – it's going to you know, there's always a little bit of a gamble. So, uh, you know, it's definitely uh, – I definitely wouldn't be surprised me to see Patrick Mullins get taken, but again, these are always tough decisions.